Hi, it's Janice Thompson from JazzleDazzleCraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. So this should be a fairly quick um, video. I don't know if anyone's about, I don't know if anybody will join me, but I'm just going to um, get on with it. So the other day there, I did come in and... Um, show you some cards that I'd received in the mail but I was kind of in the middle of doing a tidy up of my craft room or craft area that's a bit much to call it a room but <laughs> my craft oh hi Randy in you come I'm just just getting set up here you know the drill just just getting my iPad up so that I can read any comments hi Steph how are you well, there's the notifications telling me I'm live. I hope it's told other people. So, yeah, I've been doing a bit of a tidy up. You will be impressed, Steph, really. But then it won't last long. But uh, I found more cards that had been sent that I don't think I have shared from our recent swaps. So, cool, I thought I would share them with you, show you the swap that I made for my Cory Paper Crafts team, that's Karen McDonald's team, she's my team leader, so we had, in that team we had a swap, so I'm going to show you the card I made for that and then recreate it, but we'll have a wee look at some of these cards, some of these are from that swap, so, hey Randy, yeah thanks hey, for sharing your sympathy cards that's beautiful and though I saw the ones in my group hi Sylvia you just watched it yeah that was my Facebook one yeah I've not put that up to YouTube yet but I will do that later but I just um I've just been filming for my class in the post but I thought okay, I'm going to I've gathered these uh, cards together I'm going to come on and have a wee chat with to see filming on your own pre-recorded stuff it's quite it's monotonous because you, I don't have the interaction that I get when you guys all come in and share with me when I'm filming. So if you've come in, come away in and say hello. And uh, you guys can chat to each other as well while I'm talking about my card. So yeah, this is one of the swaps I received and it came in from one of the ladies in my team from Ladonia and she's given me a whole recipe of all the things she's used in it so that could be helpful yeah well you're gonna have some nachos but my husband's cooking a Thai curry so I've left him unsupervised so let's see what happens so <laughs> so nice it's all so new that he's doing the cooking it's fantastic um, I'm really proud of him for giving it a go so this is using the Snowflake Splendor designer series paper and you can see there's a bit of the Peaceful Bows stamp set here and then we've got um, Perfectly Played and she's punched this one out. Now I think this dies, this dies from Beautiful Bows as, Bow as well and she's stamped that with Pool Party uh, and this is Highland Heather, the colours that she's used. So it's fantastic. Fantastic. I'll just give you a quick peek as well. I'm not quite sure how to do this. But just quickly, she decorated the whole... I don't really want to broadcast my address over the whole world. But um, she has... She draws her own banner here, and it, but she's decorated all around it as well. With the stamps, which is fabulous absolutely fabulous so that's great some good ideas oh hi Esther just doing a quick kind of tea time one and you come Esther come away in <laughs> come away in and get a seat by the fire <laughs> all these people they I get teased about my welcome but most of you like it so you know I'll keep doing it. I hadn't realised until other people started pointing it out. <laughs> Just how we are. When you open my door and someone's at it, that's what I would say. Come away in. Let's have a cuppa. Can't do that just now, can we? Annoying. 
Yay. So anyway, this is another of the swap cards that I received from another lady in my team, Jane. And she actually um, won this, well not won this, earned this week. She's in my team and she earned it with a recognition voucher. So that was really good. And then she's made a card and sent it back to me, which is fabulous. So it's just like a wee parcel and it's called, what's it called again? Can I remember? No, I can't. But do you know what? I think she, there, here's the note that she sent me when she asked for a gift wrapped bundle. So she made this card and sent her recognition vouchers in it. Sent them back to me. So there she's got this die from the sunflower set. The paper is from the flowers from every season designer series paper. These are from the one that goes, the stamp set that goes with the postage stamp punch and I can't remember the name of it. And this one is from, please tell me what set that's from. I never bought that one, I always wanted to and I haven't. For, for, this dies from, I've got the stamp set, the silhouettes, is it the silhouette? Silhouette scenes as a stamp set and that's the die set that goes with that. Hi Ladonia, I've just been showing your card off and your beautiful envelope decorating, it's fabulous. Um, yeah, so Jane sent me that card to, with her vouchers in saying could I get her that bundle, gift wrap bundle, so yeah, so then she made her swap card with that, so that is just fabulous. So that, thank you Jane for them. Then this is one that's got in that pile and this is actually from Ruth from Artful Stamping. Some of you guys here, how about up the right way? Ruth sent this to me with a personal note in it along with the cards that she donated for the Ronald McDonald home. And this is just beautiful and it really does. It is a Ruth card when she does her 3D type. She's got different papers. See, she's given the... She's used the leaf punch, but she's given it texture. She's done a rolled flower. Not quite sure how you've done the top of that flower, Ruth. I think I need to watch you a bit more. Oh, yeah, a kind of... It, it is the twisted one. And she's got some paint on it, or ink, rather. And I'm not sure where that dye is from, but it could be a retired one. I'm not sure. But isn't that beautiful? That was the exciting thing was, although I was getting the cards to go off to Ronald McDonald, nearly everyone who sent the parcels of cards to me sent me a wee card just for me. So that's nice. So that's beautiful. So, yep. Thank you, Ruth. And, th and thank you for your donation of cards, I'm sure. I've got some photographs to put up to let you see some of them on site. This one, again, I was just been working with this stamp set this, this morning. This is our Dove of Hope. It is just a fabulous set. And this is the lady in my team, Caroline. Crafty Caroline Creates. Um, you'll find her on Facebook. Um, yeah, and she's done, she's die cut in the gold foil paper. That is beautiful. And this Dove is bringing a Christmas bauble. And then she's done background stamping with the branch that's in that set. It's just beautiful. So thank you, Caroline. Got lots of ideas. Now, another lady on my team has done this one. Now, these letter dies are retired now, but the brightly gleaming paper isn't. And look how she's she's die cut out and then she's inset into, is that, it's not quite the eclipse, but she's done a, a thin slim line and she's, this has all been embossed as well. This is fabulous. This is Nikki, who's Nikki May, who's in my team. It's, it's just beautiful, and she's used a copper foil on here. This is just gorgeous, just gorgeous. She also has made her own envelope. Again, I don't really want to show you my address, but she has made an envelope to fit this. So that is just fab. So thank you, Nikki, for that. And then here's a card from one of my lovely customers, Marlene. Um, so I don't know if you'll catch this, Marlene, but I'm quite—I was quite delighted to, to, to receive this card. So 
it's not all stamping up stuff but that's fine I, I'm happy to look at all cards because they, they give me ideas but this this is clever it's a clever fold so you open it that way and then it was a thank you card thanking me for thanking me for my thank you gift <laughs> I sent her for her order I love this the way she's done she's used the what the foil what do you stick stick things and but she's colored in behind it and it's so beautiful and I love these little star um, embellishments hi Audrey Oh, fresh haddock and ruscaline. Oh, that sounds delish. Absolutely delicious. That takes me back to my childhood. That's a favourite. And then it comes out like that. And then like that. It's got a personal note there. And then she's decorated inside here. So how clever is that? And then it ties at the side. Now I'm going to try that fold out. Ruscaline, it's like breadcrumbs and it's got lots of food colouring in to make it bright orange and kids love it on their fish it's just breadcrumbs though really i don't think it's quite as bright an orange now as it was when we were kids and you spray your haddock in it so that is gorgeous and this the card that i sent out is this one so this one uses the birds and more dies. Um, I just love the wee bird and I'm into robins as you know so more wee robins, more wee robins. So I've kept one of the ones the same as I sent out so I would remember what I used because I did this a wee while ago. So I'm going to make another one along with you guys while you're here if you would like me to craft with you. So. I've got a whole pile of robins. I just die cut them all out and I coloured them in. I just sat one night. Probably it would be one night it would be watching Rest Esther of Stampin' Star Creations, who's on here just now. So if you're not already a subscriber, pop over and subscribe to her. Hello, Karen, and then you come. And I might have been watching Artful Stamping with Ruth. And again, if you're not already a subscriber of Ruth's, pop on over there and subscribe i don't think i've shown cards of anyone else who has a channel but if there's anyone else watching just now that has a channel just let us know because some of the ladies are always looking for new ideas for their crafting so anyway this is an envelope envelope tent fold style card i have used the birds and more dies these don't get used enough they're sitting there and I'm not using them nearly enough so I need to they go along with the birds and branches stamp set but there's some what the die I use there's loads there's a beautiful branch here as well I'm not used to I don't know so much about the nest and the eggs it doesn't really float my boat but these birds are delicious absolutely gorgeous and you can stamp the birds from the stamp set and you can you've got the outline here so there's loads but I'm not going to labor on that I just want to make up a card to let you see so I use this die which is really good because that's what it leaves you when you cut so you're left with a bit of a hole but the little branches it's just pretty so oh Audrey you're so funny <laughs> oh no I just craft along and listen in that's why sometimes I don't um, comment as much and then I get called a lurker but that's fine I'm okay to be a lurker so back to making a card and I do have some bits ready here for me so I have actually done the die cutting in advance um, and I've got a, a liner here so what I want is to use this whoops come here this stamp the joy stamp from here which is the peace and joy stamp set and I want to gold emboss the word peace, no, the word joy even, so that it's going to come through there. So that's roughly where I want it. That's roughly where I want to stamp it. So I'm going to pop these. 
these things to the side here. So it's roughly, roughly about there. And I've got a pencil somewhere. Maybe I could make myself a little pencil mark. Uh, I did have a pencil here. I had several pencils around. I can't. I can pat my head and rub my belly, but not in opposite directions. So I'm just going to put just a wee pencil mark there. It'll just remind me roughly where the O and the joy has to go because I need to get my embossing buddy and rub over with my embossing buddy. And I need, need a block. Pick up joy. I've just picked joy up and I need my ink. That's not fully on the block, so let's just move it along a bit. So it's all on the block. I want to ink that up. Stamp it down. Lift it up. And I need gold embossing powder. And I need a bit of scrap paper. This isn't really scrap. It's a letter from Sarah that came with my catalogue. But, or Sarah rather. Um, but it's a good quality piece of paper. So it's ideal for this job. So some gold embossed powder over the joy and if we're clever, if we're clever, my heating has been um, on all day today and we've had a high of two degrees today. Seriously got up to white snow frozen it's like a nice rig out my front door so I have chosen to put safety first and not go out of the door right so that is joy got its powder on so I'm just going to heat up the embossing the heat gun even oh I watch tv in the unit or crochet while I'm watching TV. Maybe I just kind of listen to TV a bit rather than watch it sometimes. Well, I've got to be doing something. I can't just sit. So again, I'm going to copy Esther and heat it a little bit from the back first. And then just try and hold it so that you can see the magic. Lucky you, Sylvia. Bubbly, this powder, it's quite new as well. I'll get a little bit more heat from the back to see if it'll. Yeah, our car's just stayed where it was. Peter decided it just wasn't worth He did go out and do his daily exercise run, but um, he said it was a bit dangerous. But he's been running every single day for over a year now, so he's not about to give up on that. Right, I need my rubber to get rid of. Hi Shirley, and you come. Come away in. Get a seat by the fire. And a cup of tea. A cup of char. Yeah, sometimes I do listen to, um, if I've got an audio book on the go, I'll listen to that while I'm crafting. But I really like listening to my fellow stampers. Right, so there we go, we've got Joy. And we did have another stamp under here, what did we have? Yeah, it's from Best Year. So just have a rake about your um, craft room and just choose stamps that work for you. 
So I'm going to stamp that under there where you lower down where it won't be seen this one and then just leave you a little bit of space to write your message. That's quite good because then if you don't want to write too much you don't have to. Did I? Oh no, look what I've done. Janice. Do you know what? I need to clean my stamp and scrub and it's, um, I, my thumb went in it. Oh dearie me. I'm going to stamp over that or something because I'm just going to go with it because it's not seen when the card's closed. I'll do something with it. I'm going to bring down this. Yeah, I didn't do a big thumbprint on yours, did I? I'm just going to stamp. I'm going to stamp over that. A thumbprint could be considered a, a kiss, couldn't it? Probably not saying this one out. But anyway, the harder I try, the harder I make it. So the next job after this live is to go and pull my stamp and scrub aside. Yeah, it's got a special put of my DNA there, that's right, Esther, thank you for that. I can't deny it was me, can I? <laughs> right, so that goes there. Just try and get it straight. It is worked a wee bit because I didn't really heat the, the, whoops, the heat tool enough. It's a lovely card if you don't get thumbprints on it, Randy. Well, I'm quite proud of it. I designed it myself, so if you... The good bit is Joy shows and the splodgies don't. So, oh, Joy. <laughs> right, and then I used the pleated ribbon from the Boho Indigo Medley. However, I don't know where I've put it and I did get it out ready to do this. So oh, here it is. And I've got some of that. Right. Okay, so I used this around and the other embellishment is the wonderful gems. So they are out. So keep an eye that I don't lose them. Yeah, so I just brought this right round and used a glue dot so I want, I'll cut it just a bit longer than I need and then I can trim it when I get round and then I put the bow over the top of the join so where are my glue, do my glue dots are here and my old, this is a retired pokey tool and pokey tool is a technical term in the craft world for me it is anyway Oops. So I'm going to just pop a wee glue dot on the inside to so stop my ribbon slipping and sliding about halfway and then just bring that down and then I want to get a glue dot Now, I'm not sure I can put gems on my spot, she's inside. Right, and then I want to just cut that just so that it kind of meets. Because you don't want it to be too bulky. I know, I'm, do you know what I'll have to do is I'll just have to stamp some birds or something inside my card to cover my splotch or a branch or something. We'll look at that, we'll kind of look at the possibilities of that when I'm done. Right, so I want to show you this. I broke my Glitter Girls bow maker. I got caught in the drawer and one of the prongs came off. So I said to Peter, I've got this bit of dowel in here. Is there anything 
you've got lying in the shed so I can make a new one. Now this isn't perfect but it's okay for a prototype isn't it? He's not a joiner and he doesn't profess to be so I'm pleased with that. So because that's how I'm used to tying bows. So come out ribbon. So I've made loads and loads of things with the Boho Indigo medley and I've still got loads of that ribbon left. It's just good. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to put it up on the market yet, but we're working on it. I'll get them to refine it and then I'll be able to sell them myself. <laughs> Right, so tie it really tight and then see that does not slip. Once you've done that it just doesn't slip but you can still faff with it if you want to rearrange it. And faff is also a technical term in the paper craft and world. Some of us do like to faff. So again just pop in pop a glue dot where the join of the ribbon is and that's a good place to put your bow. So there's the bow bit done. Then I want a wee birdie. So I see I've already die cut and popped him. So pop him, we put him with dimensional. Yeah, we'll find a bit dimensional for him. Hi Kerry, and you come. Come away in. Do you want a seat by the fire? I'm just putting some bits of dimensional on my wee birdie. This one's a bit big, it's just because it's got some bits, hollow bits. So I'll just pop that bit there under his belly. So I did previously colour these, I coloured them with blends, so I've used, I've cut them out with um, Sahara sand I think, and I've coloured this bit in with soft suede, and then my real red blend and a wee black, black blend there. Black blend, that's hard to say. And there he is, that's him. And then we need some gems. I'm a sticky scissors, no they're probably my ribbon scissors but they're all going to get cleaned with surgical spirits anyway. I think of the other pair, of, I've got two pairs of snips on the go and the other pair are probably Ben the Hoose through in the other room. So I'm going to put some gems on these berries here. Now you can wouldn't use the the larger gems because the sticky from them oh I didn't put the clear ones there Janice it's the red ones you want there where did I put the clear ones I had clear oh yeah the clear ones were up here right I think these are big ones so I don't know if they're okay let's see oh yeah they're not sticking I thought they might stick to the card but we're all right they're all right Use, I can always use my embossing buddy on the back of them once if they are trying to stick to the inside of the card. No, it's it's fine, honestly, Audrey. The wooden one works fine, honestly. Give it to somebody local to you. See, that is sticking a wee bit, but we'll sort that. Right, so that's just about the front of my card done. Let's just... Just like a wee, and years gone by, this was my wee signature. I always put three little diamonds in a row at the top corner. Now, is this is a bit of a we've got that blob there. This one, well, I don't know, it's not bad, is it? Well, we just leave it alone. I'll, I'll write loads of stuff in it when I write it. So, there you go. That was my swap card. So these wonderful gems are gorgeous. So if you any of the products that you've seen me use or you've seen on some of the other cards, they are available to buy. And 
all you have to do is go into the description box below and there's a link straight to my online shop um, if you want to discuss anything with me about the products or ask me questions get in touch with me on my social media I am Jazzle Dazzle or Jazzle Dazzle Craft .co .uk. you'll find me under both those names um, yeah thanks very much for coming and joining us joining me even still a few robins on the loose here I need to I've actually got another idea for a robin card and it's got a hole in it too but we'll cut it's done with a punch so we'll come and do that one very soon but anyway thank you very much everyone I hope you're all well um, I hope you're not as cold as we've been today <laughs> it's been freezing we had woke up to, it was a really stormy night we woke up to frozen snow ice rink out the front doorstep uh, cars are all frozen and the pavements are like ice rinks honestly it's just awful out there so stay warm stay safe and we'll see you in the next on the next live or I might see some of you in someone else's lives later on today thank you so much bye bye if you're not finished your cup of tea just take it with you it's all right